I'm Coyote Peterson. Now you've seen me stung by harvester ants, fire ants, and scorpions. But today, I'm moving a rung up on the insect sting pain index, and I'm going to be stung by the cow killer. I have a feeling that this one is going to hurt. Oh boy. Ready? All right, let's do this again one more time for good measure. I'm Coyote Peterson, and I'm about to enter the sting zone with the cow killer. Are you ready? Are you ready? No, I'm never ready. One, two, three. You good? Yeah. Get your shot. I'm gonna place it right down on my arm. Here we go. Look at my arm shaking. Okay, let me get right. back here. You're right. What are you feeling? Oh wow. Oh wow, okay. G give me a second. Oh my gosh. You alright? Oh yeah. What are you feeling? What does it feel like? Give me a second. Give me a second. Oh my gosh, guys, this is super bad. Move this other way. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta try to control my heart rate. Try to get a tight shot right there where the stinger when you just see the, there's blood. Okay, try to get a shot because I can get him like walk around for a second. Right there. Right there, it's our stomach. It's our I could feel it. It was like, um, you could feel it go all the way under the skin, all the way in. I could feel it insert into my arm. You gonna be all right? Okay. Now they say that the sting of the velvet ant will last for about 30 minutes. And I can tell you guys right now, this is the worst sting I've ever taken. There's no question about it. It is worse than a horror street ant, it is worse than a fire ant. It feels like I'm getting stung over and over again. You can see the welt starting to form on my arm. Oh, oh man, yeah, there's a welt big time. Describe the pain, is it, is it like a pulsating pain, stabbing the pain? The pain, it's radiating, it is radiating. It feels like, um, you know if you get a charley horse in your muscle and it like seizes up and then it's like doof, doof. Oh, that is powerful. I can see why they call them cow killers. Uh, <laughs> oh, that is some intense pain right there. How long has it been? About, about seven minutes. Seven minutes? Uh, they say this the pain from this lasts for about 30. Uh, about 23 minutes to go, guys. 23 minutes to go. Ah! Uh! Now aside from working my way up to the bullet ant, the reason I was willing to take a sting from this insect was so that we could all see the effects of the venom. 25 minutes has gone by, uh, my arm is still on fire, and what's crazy is that, look at all the red blotching that's formed around the sting. There's the stinger insertion point right there, and it is swollen, and it is very tender, and you can see how red the entire radius is of the sting. I'm sweating. <sighs> My goal was to do the best I could to describe the pain I was feeling. And it, it still hurts. It definitely still hurts, but not as bad as the initial uh, impact of the stinger. But what's interesting is that all around the sting, 
is tingling like these little tiny pincushion needles going tss, 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 tss. and as you can see there's all these little red dots forming and I'm assuming that is where the venom is spreading into my arm. Oh wow, well I would say that this was definitely one very intense sting. The cow killer has earned its reputation as being one of the most powerful stings in the insect kingdom. And while it may be ranked as a four on the insect sting pain index, for me, at this point, it's definitely number one. Wow. There we have it. Okay, I'm gonna have to do this quick. And that is about as good a hold as I am going to get. Oh, I can see the stinger. Whoa, look at that stinger. I'm Coyote Peterson, and I'm about to enter the sting zone with the warrior wasp. Here we go. One, two. My arm is swelling up really, really quickly. Ugh. Hold on, back to the table, back to the table. Okay, so what is happening right now is the venom is getting into my bloodstream, right? And what's happening is it is breaking down the membranes around my blood cells and it's causing them to scatter. Now there are cells in there that are neurons, right? Those neurons are sending messages to my brain that are screaming pain, pain, pain. And trust me when I say there's massive amounts of pain going through my arm right now. Mm. Initial onset is not as bad as the bullet ant, but it's an electrical shock similar to that of the tarantula hawk. <sighs> Hold on, let me compose myself here for a second. Uh, 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 oh my gosh, the pain is actually getting worse as time goes on. And I don't know if that's actually the venom taking hold or that's just the neurons firing to my brain saying, you are in a lot of pain right now, Coyote. Hold on guys, give me a second. Uh, can you see the red? Seem more squirmy. Uh, like you can't sit still. This is this is more of a continuous sting than the bullet ant was. This is this is this keeps firing. This just keeps firing. Cut this GoPro. Uh, lightheaded you know you when you get into a really hot shower and the steam sets on you feel like you're gonna faint I do feel like I'm getting close to fainting and that is not good I'm just trying to control my breathing ah look at that welt man yeah, you can definitely that thing it. walloped me I can only imagine what it would be like to be swarmed by these just a single sting dwarfs the sting of a yellow jacket. The initial sting was not as painful as the tarantula hawk, but then it set in and it was electrical in nature. Felt like an electrical current going into my arm. And I, you know, I was over here, I was hitting the ground saying, it's not as bad as the bullet ant, but in its own way, it's different because the bullet ant 
hit me, and then just kept radiating. This feels like I'm being stung over and over and over. Man, it's really swollen. It usually don't swell that quickly. Look at that. Go ahead, uh, put your hand out. Feel the tautness of my forearm. Oh yeah. And you can see. Oh yeah, big time. Stinger insertion point is definitely swollen. It is very much isolated. It almost looks like a little BB or something underneath my skin. That's, you know, you're reacting more like you did with the bees, with that, the immediate welt. You know, my body may start to react differently to venoms. At this point, I'm just feeling really lightheaded, very hot, my arm is very hot, and not necessarily like a state of paralysis like the tarantula hawk, but my... Any tightness in your chest, or...? Not my chest, tightness in my hand. Like this motion, squeezing of my hand, is very, very difficult right now really having a hard time squeezing down a fist. You can see the swelling setting in there. It does still feel like pins and needles in my arm, but I know that everybody wants me to answer the question, is the sting from the warrior wasp more painful than the bullet ant? I would definitely say that the bullet ant is worse. However, keep this in mind. If you come across a bullet ant while you're out there venturing through the rainforest of Costa Rica, let's say one lands on your arm, falls out of a tree, and stings you, you can easily brush it off. However, if you stumble upon a nest of warrior wasps and you disturb it, you're going to have thousands of angry insects attacking you. And not only are they going to be attacking, but they are going to be chasing as you run through the underbrush. Now, I imagine if you were to take sting after sting after sting, it could potentially be lethal. So word to the wise, if you're out there in the rainforest of Costa Rica, simply admire these animals from a safe distance and always pay attention to your surroundings. I'm Coyote Peterson. Be brave. Stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. Careful. Oh boy. Got it. Oh boy. That is the positioning that we want. Oh boy, okay, so we gotta hurry up and do this. <sighs> that is a perfect hold right there. Now, before, look how much my hand is shaking. Hold on. So I get a shot of her. <sighs> okay, oh boy, look I've at got that a really going. good hold. Wow, look at that abdomen going. I got a really good hold on her. It took me a minute to get the right hold, but the right hold is what is important. Now, I do have the glass capsule right here, so I'm hoping that I have the wherewithal after the sting to quickly pick up the glass enclosure and put it back over top of the wasp so it doesn't escape and we can get some more B-roll shots with it. But guys, do be aware that if I do immediately go into a state of paralysis, just let the wasp fly away. Don't try to grab it, don't do anything. It'll be back into the wild and everything will be fine. All right, Coyote. You okay, man? Your heart racing? Million miles a second. This is the most nervous I've ever been to take a stinger bite from anything. My hand is shaking. Are you guys all ready? Oh yeah, I'm ready if you're ready. I'm ready, I'm ready. Okay. Here we go. I'm Coyote Peterson, and I'm about to enter the sting zone with the tarantula hawk. Let's go for it. One, two, here we go, three. Are you feeling anything like, should you be worried? Nope, I just can't move my arm. I think I'm gonna cry. Guy <laughs> Pearson doesn't cry though, right? Oh! Oh! It is, it's like my arm is in a state of paralysis right now. Ah! Oh! Oh! 
Do you need anything? Right there. Oh, yeah. wow. Oh, wow. Ah. Ah. It looks like your arm is swollen up. Ah. 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 Second wave of pain. Ah. Yeah, it's actually receding at this point. Oh. Wow. That zone right there is a hot radiating pain. And you can see the stinger where it went in right there, that red mark. I've read that it's like getting tased with a taser gun. I've never been tased before, but I can tell you that the pain is unbelievable right now. All up and down my forearm. Wow, I'd actually slightly liken it to the Gila Monster at this point. It feels really hot, really, really hot. Ah, ah, hot to the touch. Wow, it's, put your, see if my arm is warm to you. Oh yeah, it's all really, it's like really taut. Ah, yeah. oh, hold on, let me walk around for a second. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Let's come back into the scene here. Ah, oh, you little bugger. Oh, I am lightheaded at the moment, but the sting from the tarantula hawk is serious. I can see why it's ranked as a two on the insect sting pain index. And at this juncture, I think it's safe to say that I've worked my way up the ladder and am ready for the bullet ant challenge. I know you are all waiting in anticipation for that one. Trust me, it's coming. I'm Coyote Peterson, be brave. Stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. All right, let's let this go back off into the desert. We safely released the tarantula hawk back into the wild. And as it flew away, I think we were all a bit relieved that this sting was over and done with. And while the impact of the sting and the intensity of the pain was far superior to that of the velvet ant, it only lasted for about five minutes. I had no major adverse reactions. However, my arm was sore for the rest of the day. And 24 hours later, it looked like a water balloon. And it really itches. And I really should itch it, but ah, oh, that feels so good. The tarantula hawk is an extraordinary insect. And while their sting is powerful, they have no interest in stinging humans. If you ever see one in the wild, admire it from a safe distance, as you have absolutely nothing to fear. That is, unless you are a tarantula. Here we go. Are you ready? I'm ready. GoPro is rolling. Okay. I am literally at the summit of the insect sting pain index. So what I'm gonna do now is remove the glass. Whew. Ant is live, okay? It is out and active. I am going to now pick it up with the forceps. Got it. Whew. There we go. That right there is a perfect hold right on the thorax. And wow, look at that. The stinger is already flying. Uh, does that give you enough space there, Mark, to be able to see the stinger as it goes into my arm? Yes, sir. We've got clear visibility on the abdomen. Here we go. I'm going to move the little wooden base out of the way. Glass capsule is right here in frame. Forearm on the table. I'm Coyote Peterson, and I'm about to take on the Bullet Ant Challenge. Are you ready? Let's do it. One. Two. Oh my gosh, this is it. Three. Ah! Oh, it's stuck in my arm! It's stuck in my arm! Oh! Oh, the stinger is stuck in my arm, look at that! Oh! Okay, it's off, it's off, it's off! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh! You're right. Oh my god, it is really bad! Oh my gosh, I think it has the trench lock topped. You're right, man. Yeah. Oh, did you see that? The stinger was stuck into my forearm, right into the vein. There is the sting insertion point right there. Oh my gosh, it is like, oh, it's hot. Oh, I can feel the venom already, right in my forearm. Ah. Oh, it is. It's number one. Ah. 
<laughs> oh my gosh! Oh, it's burning more! It's getting worse! Hold on, hold on, hold on! Ah. Oh, my whole arm is getting really tight. Oh my gosh, Mark, put your arm out here. Just tell them. Feel my forearm. Wow. Dude, it is like rock hard. I think it's spasming up the muscle. Now, the toxin that comes out of the sting of a bullet ant is a Panera toxin, which can cause you to hallucinate. So, I don't know how much venom actually went into my arm. All I know is that the stinger was in my forearm for a considerable amount of time. Ah, uh, uh, oh my gosh. Oh, oh, oh. Dude, I think my, I think my, I think my neck is having a muscle spasm too. My whole muscle structure is like pounded right now. Ah, uh, what is that? Okay, that's not good. Let's keep an eye on that. My neck is like stiffening up. My entire arm feels like it's having a spasm right now. Uh, uh, okay. Is it getting better or worse? No, it's worse. It's coming in waves of pain now. Ah, my gosh. It is, hold on. I'm super lightheaded. Like super lightheaded. Do you need some water? Yeah, you're, you're like getting flushed. Your, your face is like turning red. You're getting like puffy under your eyes. I'm sweating bullets right now. Bullets, bullets of sweat for the bullet ant. Okay, I'm gonna try to stay composed. I'm gonna have to, we're gonna have to cut the scene pretty quickly. I'm in a lot of pain right now. Okay, at the moment, I'm experiencing hot radiating waves of pain. It feels as if someone has stabbed me with a hot poker and I can actually feel the venom. It's throbbing. It's very similar to the bite of the Gila monster. When I was bitten by the Gila monster, it was intense pain and then it would reside and then it would return with a vengeance. This is, ah, At this point, the tarantula hawk was already done hurting. This is getting worse. This is getting worse. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to take this for 24 hours. <laughs> it pumped me full of venom. This is gonna be bad. It's one thing to get tagged and you know, to be, I got stung. It's another thing to be like, I was just hoping you got that shot mark where it was literally latched on and stinging me. Oh, I am sweating bullets right now. It is humid, but my body is on fire. It's been about 20 minutes since the sting. I look at my arm. It feels like it is on fire about up to my shoulder. Extremely painful right in that region. It's red, it is swollen. But I feel composed enough to give you guys a proper outro. Now they say that this pain is gonna last for 24 hours. And my goodness, if it does, I'm in for one wild day. But. I think it goes without question that the bullet ant sting is the most painful that I have faced thus far on the insect sting pain index. However, as some of you may know, there are whispers that there is possibly a more painful sting out there. The warrior wasp may challenge the bullet ant's claim at the peak of the insect sting pain index. Am I going to be willing to take on that challenge? Stay tuned and we'll find out. I'm Coyote Peterson. Be brave. Stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. Woo, what a day. Okay, I've got it. I've got it. Perfect hold. That's what we want. Wow. All right, everyone just take a moment to soak this in. That is an enormous hornet. Look at its abdomen pulsating. You look at the mandibles, those are used for chomping. I think I may also take a bite during this video as well, which I'm kind of afraid of. And if you zoom in on the legs, you can see that they have these little hooks. They almost look like grappling hooks. And one thing that also scares me, there is the chance it's gonna latch onto my arm and sting more than once. I can't stop my hand from shaking. I haven't been this nervous since the tarantula hawk. Sure you wanna do this? Yeah, there's no turning back now. All right, you guys ready? Ready if you are. I'm Coyote Peterson, and I'm about to enter the sting zone with the Japanese giant hornet. One, two, here we go, three. Ah! Oh, the stinger stuck in my arm. Oh! Is it? Oh man, wave of dizziness is really quick. Ah! Oh! Oh! 
searing pain. Absolute searing pain. There's where the stinger went in right there. Did you not see how slow the sting was? Oh! I see blood. Ah! Oh my god! Ah! Ah! Oh my gosh! I know it's tough to describe it. You gotta describe it for me. Okay, 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 okay. My hand is completely seized up and locked in place. This is like the tarantula hawk. Look at the swelling that's beginning to form on my arm. Forearm is incredibly tall. Only about 45 seconds have gone by. Careful not to go uh, on those cliff edge, by the way. Let's, let's, let's move it over here. Move back, over up, here. Back, back up, back up, back up, back up. Ah! You gotta tell us if you're in trouble. Are you gonna be okay? When the stinger went into my arm, I had this like wave, like a wave came over me and I got super dizzy. Almost didn't feel what was happening. And then the, the pain just was like immediate, immediately searing. Look at your arm. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look at that. Wow. You are swelling like crazy. He's swelling up bad. Hang on a second. Let's let's put a circle around where the swelling is yeah, at to see the you... progression of it. This is the outer, and then that is the immediate right there. Oh man! Not a two, far surpasses the tarantula hawk. Far surpasses the tarantula hawk. Ah! Here, 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 look at this. If I turn my arm sideways, look at the welt on my, oh, 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 okay. Can't touch near it. Sharp shooting pain if I touch near it. Wow. Oh my gosh. I can see <clears throat> that your wrist is starting to swell. Do you want to take your watch off? Ah. You know? Ah. Yeah. Ah. No relief yet. It's just a matter of harnessing the pain, controlling the level of pain, and rolling around on the ground and screaming at this point it really isn't doing me any good. All right, let's cut cameras and come back in about five minutes. Let me get a drink of water. All right, man. Well, I could definitely see that. Don't touch it. I'm not. I'm not gonna touch it. I just want to show everyone home. The swelling mm. has completely gone outside of these initial marks. I mean, and I don't think you're out of the woods yet. I think that's gonna swell a whole lot worse. Yeah, we are only 20 minutes in at this point. 20 minutes since that stinger went deep into my forearm. You can see the discoloration in my skin there, the massive goose egg that has formed. The venom has worked its way up my arm. Can you show us the lump? Can you hold your arm up at all? <sighs> oh my goodness. <sighs> wow. I'm sure you guys want to know how this feels as compared to some of the other top insects on the sting index. It blows the cow killer out of the water. No Ow. comparison. It definitely trumps the tarantula hawk. Ah. When we're talking bullet ant, I would definitely say that at this point it is on par. And in just one month, the episode you have all been waiting for the sting of the Executioner Wasp will determine who the true king of sting really is. We're gonna monitor this sting for the next 24 hours and see what happens. I can promise you this much. I've got a world of pain ahead of me for the next few hours. All right, let's get an outro and uh, get back down to civilization. You ready? Yep. I'm Coyote Peterson. Be brave. Whew, stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. Man, oh, that was a bad one. The hours following my brutal sting were some of the most painful I have ever faced, and my arm continued swelling to nearly double its normal size. The trauma that my mind and body endured today seemed like a blur, yet when we look back, there was a strange similarity to the scenario I faced with a bullet ant. Both insect stingers became lodged in my arm, and as a result, they pumped me with a higher dosage of venom than I had originally intended to take. When I compare the stings side by side, I'm completely honest when I say that the Japanese giant hornet is an overall more intimidating and ultimately more painful sting 
than the bullet ant. You are right, man? Yep. There is no question about it. Through my personal experience, the Japanese giant hornet ranks as a four on the insect sting pain index. And in this very moment, I consider it to be the most painful sting in the world. But will it be able to hold on to its prize title as the king of sting? Stay tuned. We all know what's coming next. Oh boy, this just became a reality. Wow, there it is, the giant desert centipede. And I'm about to be bitten by it. Okay, well, the next thing we need to do is actually get it out of this plastic container. And to do that, I'm gonna gently go in and pin it, ready? Yep. That's creepy. There's the commitment. Okay, gotta hold on it. Oh, man, those little legs are digging into me. Woo! Look at those fangs. My goodness, okay. Now, I do, as always, have an epinephrine pen. I'm just stating that for the record. And... Let's have that. Emergency satellite phone. Always important. Never had to use it. Please don't let today be the first time. Camera three rolling. GoPro is rolling, okay. Here we go, ready? I'm Coyote Peterson, and I'm about to be bitten by the giant desert centipede. Here we go. One, two, Right there, there's where the fangs went, and you see those puncture marks? Oh yeah, wow. <laughs> Grab the pain. Ah! Immediately searing! Oh my gosh, it's so much worse than a bullet ant sting! Ah! 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 How sharp are the fangs? Hold on a second! Oh my gosh! See where they went in right there. Ah! Uh, Double chomp. Ah! Uh, could you even see that? It bit and like curled the skin up and then let go and bit a second time. Yeah. Uh, oh wow. Uh, see blood come to the surface. Talk to me. Talk to me. Talk to me. Okay. I gotta, okay. Know, I gotta know you're not like in serious trouble. You gotta talk to me. It's a different pain than any sting I've taken. It's searing. It is absolutely searing. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, I'm sorry, I can't compose words right now, man. Uh, uh. I need some water, I need some water. Oh my gosh. Describe me where you feel the pain. Is it just like localized to the, the bite? It's going up my arm. It is going up my arm just like the venom of heel monster. Man, look at the welts that are forming on my arm. Ugh. Dude, we might need to use that venom extractor. This is... Cameras, cut the cameras. We gotta get the venom extracted. We gotta get some venom on my arm. Ah! I'm serious. Cut the, cut the cameras. Cut the cameras. Ah! I'm rolling cameras. I'm rolling. I'm rolling. Um, Mario, here. Um, can you turn on the satellite phone just in case? I'm gonna get this venom extractor out. 
Oh my gosh, guys, okay. Oh, oh. Tourniquet or no tourniquet? Uh, yeah, use the, give me, I just wanna like, it so it can, oh, I think I'm gonna vomit. Okay. Mm. Oh my gosh, this is really bad. All right, Mark, you're gonna have to keep roll on this. We got the GoPro going too. Okay. That is spreading, right? It is spreading, it is spreading. Now, we have never used a venom extractor before in an episode, guys, and uh, it is so painful right now, and given the isolation of, of where I was bitten. When I was bitten by a monster, my thumb, we couldn't use a venom extractor. I'm gonna try and see if we can't suck some of that venom out of my, out of my forearm. Uh, the pain is so bad, I actually was almost in tears. I'm gonna try to, camera for, ah! Uh, I'm gonna try to just get some of this off so I don't wanna put venom back in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can actually see the venom seeping out of the edge of my arm there. Look at the welt that is swelling. Now, if a centipede attacks a prey yeah, I item. Yeah, I feel it's swelling bad. Uh, okay, so there's there's two sites. There's site one, site two. Do you know which was first? Uh, uh, no, you know, the one up front was the first one and then it tucked its head back and it bit again. And actually, you can see the black and blue mark there. I actually think that second spot Injected mm -hmm. more venom. Yeah. So what you want to do is yeah, cut down can, on I that. I think I can get them all. You may be able to get it all. Mario, you got a tight shot on that. Ah! Ah! Okay. Ah! Okay. Ah! Ah! Oh my gosh, that's only making it hurt worse. Yeah, just ah! Oh my gosh, that's crazy. You can actually see the venom coming up through the holes where the fangs. When you can you see that? See if you can zoom in on that. <clears throat> You gotta tell us if you feel like you gotta get out of here. We'll get you out of here. Okay, like the heel monster bite, it comes in waves of pain. Right now, I'm at a, I'm at a downtrend in the pain. Now, ah, Ugh! waves of pain, guys. Ugh! Okay, let's take this off. Okay, you have to, you have to Okay, I'm like, ah, 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 ah. I gotta ah, put my camera down. Hang on. Ah, ah. Here we go. Ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Ah, and I'm gonna take it down. Ah, ah, ah. Ah. Okay, zoom in on that. Ah. You can definitely see the battle. Ah. Oh my gosh, you could see the destruction in the arm right there. See how black and blue it's already turning? It is not, ah. Uh, it is not as bad as the Gila Monster in the sense that the Gila Monster sliced through my thumb and opened me up. But this absolutely eclipses any insect sting I have ever taken. It makes the bullet ant feel like a bee sting. It makes 30 bee stings to the face feel like putting on facial moisturizer. This is the most intense pain I have been in since the Gila Monster. And in this moment, I am regretting being bitten by the giant desert centipede, guys. I do have this tourniquet on me just lightly placed. You don't ever wanna place the tourniquet down too tightly, because if you do, all you're doing is forcing your heart to beat faster and that venom to pump through your, through your system quicker. Now, okay, I'm gonna wipe that back and we're gonna put the extractor on a second time. Is it pens and needles pain? or? Oh, no, it is searing pain. It is someone has taken a hot poker and shoved it into my forearm. My arm is in a state of paralysis right now. I cannot move my hand at all. My arm is swollen taut. Uh, let's do a second extraction here. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. This actually hurts really bad just One, to do this. Ready? One, two, three. Ah! Ah! The venom extractor just puts so much isolated pain right in that area. Ah! <sighs> Is it subsiding? Now the venom from the giant desert centipede has a cocktail of potency and that cocktail is called cytolysis and right now what's happening is that venom is attacking my red blood cells and it is breaking them apart and that is the pain that I am feeling right now and trust me when I say it is unbelievably intense. Wow. Let's take off the venom extractor. All right, to do that, I gotta turn this and just unlock it, right? Yep, yep. Okay, ready? Yep, no, 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 no. Okay. And, okay. Oh. oh yeah. 
you can definitely see there's some residual venom coming out of there. Okay. Let me get a shot of that with the GoPro. Man. That is a lot of venom, actually. Man, that is painful. It is easily as bad as I imagined. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh. Here, just take the tourniquet off your arm. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead, take that off, take that off. Ready? Ready? Yeah. One, two, three. There's you guys. Oh, man. First time we ever had to use the venom extractor. The venom seems to have stopped at about the area where we had the tourniquet, which is good. I do believe that the venom extractor helped. Right now, all I want to do is simply get out of the hot desert sun and into an air conditioned environment. All I can say is this, guys, if you ever come across one of these mirror pods in the wild, simply admire it from a very safe distance. Do not try to catch it. Do not try to handle it because take my word for it. This pain is absolutely unbelievably intense. You do not want to be bitten by this animal. I'm Coyote Peterson. Be brave. Stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. All right, there we go. I've got it. Perfect hold. And that stinger is absolutely massive. Okay, I'm going to move the epinephrine pen off to the side here. Let's keep the glass capsule accessible so that I can quickly cover it back up. That is a very large wasp right there. You can see it's completely calmed down at this point. It is just waiting to inflict a sting. Okay, are you ready? Oh, I'm ready. This year. Yep, I'm ready. I'm Coyote Peterson, and I'm about to enter the sting zone with the Executioner Wasp. Here we go. One, two, three. Executioner Wasp packs an unbelievable wallop. Man, the initial impact is definitely just as sharp, if not worse, than a tarantula hawk. Look, you can see the blood underneath the skin right now. My arm is throbbing. It is on fire. It is about... Oh my God, that hurts. Oh, it is burning uncontrollably. Oh. It is definitely as bad as the tarantula hawk. There's no question about it. And it is without question sharper, sharper than a bullet ant. I think we've got a new king here, folks. It's just a matter of how long is this pain gonna last? Talk to me about the smell Hold on. Oh, it's getting worse. Oh, stop burning. Oh. It's getting worse! Ah, you little devil. Oh, the executioner lives up to its names. Oh my gosh. 
Look at this white spot. Wow. That is the worst reaction you've ever had. Holy cow. We have a new Mario. king of sting, folks. Mario, you seen this? He is the king. Oh, I can't feel my arm. Do I need to be worried here? Are you, you going to be able to... Mario, what do you think? Mario. <laughs> be the most painful sting I have ever taken. No, let me rephrase that. That is the most painful sting I've ever taken. The bullet ant has been dethroned. The executioner is king. Uh. Mario, have you ever seen him react like this? You see the white? Yeah. It looks like scarring, just like the bullet ant. Yeah. There's scarring, but there's blood coming out. It is a different pain than the bullet ant. This is a searing pain. It is attacking my blood cells. It is breaking down the membranes around those blood cells and the cell particles are spilling out into my arm right now, sending firing neurons screaming to my brain right now that you are in a lot of pain. A lot of pain going on right here, guys, a lot of pain. You out of the woods yet? It's ex extremely hard right now. The initial sting and the shock that came from the sting of the executioner was more painful than anything I've experienced before. And I think I, I think I said it when I was on the ground over there that the bullet ant has been dethroned and the new king of sting is the executioner. And I am bending the knee right now to this insect because not only is its look intimidating, but its sting is the real thing. It is screaming at the moment, screaming, searing pain. So where the warrior wasp felt like pins and needles and the bullet ant felt like somebody taking a hot poker and sticking it into your arm, this is like flesh peeled back. No, I don't know what it feels like to have flesh peeled back, but I can imagine that this is what it is. You see, I can't even like move my hand right now my whole arm is in such agonizing pain and it's starting to itch like right here. Like I could feel the venom working its way up similar in the sense to how the Gila monster's venom work. And it is hot to the touch. Mark, just tell them how hot my forearm is right now. Oh wow. <clears throat> you can see right here actually. Mario, can you get a shot of that? Try to get that. You there, see this? There's, there's a residual reaction <clears throat> occurring up your arm. Is there, is there... Now in this instance, I do not know if the pain is going to last for more than an hour, more than five hours, more than 36 hours. But I can tell you right now that the pain has lasted longer than the tarantula hawk. And at this moment, it is worse than the bullet ant. So in this immediate presentation, I am declaring the executioner wasp as being the king of sting as it currently stands. All right, guys, I'm just gonna go ahead and give you an outro because I'm starting to have trouble composing my words here. Yeah, we're, we're concerned, man. You're not out of the woods yet, are you? I'm Coyote Peterson, be brave, stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. Man, this is intense. The prolonged effects of the executioner's venom lasted for nearly a week, as just a single sting packed enough potency to rot a small crater in my forearm. This has gotta be the longest hike back 
the base camp I've ever had. Oh, my arm is screaming in pain right now. The residual pain was followed by persistent itching and ultimately a scar that today I still carry with me as a reminder that this neotropical paper wasp is a foe unlike any I had ever faced. Uh, you still filming? Yeah. Uh, you don't want to remember this? The executioner! Oh, my arm is throbbing right now. Get to that water. Oof. The planet is teeming with more insect species than are known to man, and a fair share of them are armed with venomous stingers. My climb up the insect sting pain index and my destiny to encounter and face the executioner wasp was a journey I could have never predicted. Yet it successfully captured and captivated the minds of millions upon millions of viewers. And while I know you all enjoyed watching me squirm around on the ground in pain, I hope that you also walked away with a new sense of respect and understanding for these fascinating creatures. Without my incredible crew, Justin Schmidt's brilliant sting roadmap, and the wonderful coyote pack cheering me on, none of this would have been possible. So thank you all for joining me on this journey. I certainly have enjoyed the ride. Now to firmly answer your burning question, yes. For me, this really is the end. Is there a more painful sting out there? Crawling across the desert sands? or flying through the humid rainforests? Possibly, probably, but that is a mystery I feel is best left to live on. Crowning the Executioner Wasp as the new King of Sting is as far as I am willing to go. And in my opinion, this truly was one sting to rule them all. <laughs>